Thanks everybody for being here. My name is Chris Mari. I am the RAA channel manager here at LaserApp. I also work with many broker dealers from across the country. And uh, you know, it, it's funny. The uh, you know the, the last several years with, with LaserApp, the uh, biggest request that we've had is, when are you guys going to come out with a version of LaserApp that works on my iPad, right? Um, with the two words that we continually hear are cloud mobile, cloud mobile, cloud mobile. And because of those demands, because of those requests, and, and luckily because technology finally caught up uh, with our vision, uh, we launched LaserApp Anywhere, which is our mobile version of LaserApp. It's, our, it's an HTML5-based platform, and uh, we launched it at the be very beginning of 2013. And since then, like I said, it, it, it's, it's taken off like a rocket. It's, it, it's gone great. Uh, we have uh, several custodians who are using it, broker-dealers. It's also a great platform for, uh, uh, for TAMP firms, for, for uh, RIA offices. Uh, just been an, an incredible platform. So if, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how LaserApp has evolved. I'm going to give you an idea more from the back office perspective of the benefits of LaserApp Anywhere. And what we're going to do is get into three different areas that uh, – we're going to focus on today and give you an idea of uh, how, uh, how LaserApp can certainly help you grow your business, provide the platform that uh, is necessary today, and certainly pr provide the platform that is necessary for tomorrow. Okay. So with Anywhere, there are three different launch modes that are available depending upon what is necessary and what's the right fit for your business. The first launch mode that we're going to get into and discuss this morning is the server launch. Now the server launch is the ideal launch from account opening system. So if you have a much more controlled type environment where you want to make a lot of the decisions up front for advisors and not give them a lot of different choices and, and, and provide some limitations, then the server launch is probably going to be the best fit uh, for you. The, um, uh, the server launch, when uh, LaserApp uh, Anywhere opens up, the launch, the uh, forms themselves, the, uh, the, the web pages, you'll see that we have uh, the form launch, we have the uh, very few options for the advisor, you see that uh, the form will fill, again, with up to 200 fields of data. So you can pass over within the server launch client data, up to 175 fields of client data, about 15 broker-dealer or firm fields, and about uh, 15 rep or advisor fields. can all be passed over. And keep in mind, that mapping takes place just one time, and it applies to all forms in our library. So with the uh, data that <coughs> excuse me, that's brought in, we also have the insert buttons, that, of course, that are on the forms for the advisor. That brings in additional data as long as the data has been mapped whenever a choice needs to be made. So it might be uh, different client data, uh, it, uh, uh, beneficiary data, uh, uh, ID data, whatever the case might be, th those things can be brought in. Once the forms are filled, there are just a few options for the advisor. So the advisor has the ability to print. What this will do is it will render the form as a flattened PDF. Uh, at that point, no other changes can take place uh, on the form, and it, it, it's all set for wet signature. Or with the straight through processing aliases that we're going to get into in, in a moment, you can create a custom button. The one up here says uh, transmit form data, and, uh, and that can be done. Uh, so any secondary functions as far as sending for e-signature, sending for, um, to your back office if you're looking to collect the forms and data directly from LaserApp, uh, sending to uh, document imaging, whatever you'd like to, uh, to accomplish. Those different things can be done. Now the CRM launch is by far the most popular um, uh, implementation that we've seen with LaserApp Anywhere. And this simply means that Anywhere, of course, can be launched from any number of CRMs. A lot of our CRM partners are here today, Advisors Assistant. Uh, Redtail, uh, Juncture Cloud will be uh, integrated soon with, uh, with LaserApp Anywhere, they're finishing that, Grendel, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, 
the uh, CRM launches it, and also, of course, this can be launched from your proprietary system, acting like a CRM. So with the CRM launch, what you're going to see is the advisor now has a lot more choices. So the choices that, that are, are in front of them, number one, you'll see that it doesn't open up automatically with, with forms, okay? In the server launch, the client was chosen up front, forms are selected through a wizard, and then LaserApp opens up with the forms that, you, that uh, have been requested. With the CRM launch, all of those choices are now actually in the, the uh, uh, at the hands of, of the actual advisor themselves, and they go in and choose the actual forms themselves, so they've got the ability to search for forms, they have the ability to use pre-built forms groups that you've created for them. They have the ability to save their own personal form groups and leverage those. And then also to access any forms that are saved as a work in progress. So they have a lot of functionality that's at, that's at their fingertips uh, with choices that they have the ability to make. So this is, of course, uh, appropriate for a much more independent type model where you want to provide them the ability uh, to be able to make those choices and have the ability to, to launch from a number of different systems, not just one set system. Now the hybrid launch is really a combination of the two. What that does, folks, is that, that that's where the advisor would start off uh, in an account opening system. So they would choose the client up front, they would run through uh, do the form selection through a wizard. Okay, keep in mind, form kits can be created up front at that point. And, and when LaserApp is, is opened up, though, what, what the difference is in the experience is that even though it started off like a server launch, once the advisor opens up LaserApp and, and LaserApp Anywhere is launched, they have all of those choices that we just saw in the CRM launch. So if they want to have the ability uh, again, to uh, leverage other form groups that have been created, if they want to have the ability to, um, uh, uh, to use their own form groups. And one of the big differences in, in the CRM launch, they do have the ability to save forms as a work in progress, where in the server launch, that capability does not exist. The server launch is, is, is really made for the forms to be launched and for everything to be done and finished up and either the forms printed for a wet signature or sent off or e-signature or sent to the back office. Now within Anywhere, a nice thing as well is, is that there are, is the ability for us to be able to provide whatever forms that you would like within your custom forms feed. So in, in LaserApp Enterprise, our desktop version, for those of you who, who have advisors who are using the full version, what that basically means is that they've got access to your broker-dealer forms, and then they've got access pretty much to everything else in the library, about 25,000 other forms. Well, with Anywhere, you have the ability to let us know what form categories that you want your advisors to have access to, and within those categories, which companies. So if you're a broker-dealer and you, you only have selling agreements with, let's say, 80 different mutual fund companies, you can let us know which companies that you want included in that form speed. If you only want one clearing firm, we can include that. Of course, if you're a custodian, you only want your own forms. We can create a version of, of, of anywhere, as we've done today for, uh, for many folks, with, with just your forms only. If you're a TAMP, maybe uh, what the uh, need is is for a version of anywhere that has just the custodian forms and maybe a few other uh, form companies, and that's it. We can do that for you within Laser App Anywhere. Now with forms, groups, and bundles, there's a couple of different ways that this can be accomplished in, in, in LaserApp Anywhere. At the firm level, you can create bundles and share those with all users. Or, of course, the advisor has the ability to build their own personal form groups. So there's a few different ways things can be handled, but with the ability to uh, create form groups and form bundles for all users, it's very, very simple. When, when, you, when you go into the... Uh, uh, where you have the ability to choose forms within anywhere. Any forms you choose will show up over here in the queue. And what you'll see on the administration side is you'll see where it says save to pre-flight forms groups. 
And what this gives you the ability to do is save a, 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 a kit, a, a forms group, and then it, w it will now put it over into pre-flight forms groups where you have the ability to do whatever testing or editing, adding, deleting forms, whatever the case is, before you publish that and then send that out to all users. So all users, again, would, would have the ability to have access to um, whatever kits that you've created for their benefit within, uh, within LaserApp Anywhere and also have the ability to create their own personal bundles as well. Smart forms is something that we've talked about a lot here at the conference. Uh, the big difference with smart forms in Laser App Anywhere is that you have the ability to, within the, um, uh, the administrator tab, you have the ability to either set them for a soft enforcement or a hard enforcement. So in Laser App Enterprise, our desktop version, it's only a soft enforcement. So what that basically means is that, is that once a user gets through filling out the forms, if they, if they have missed any pertinent fields, which of course smart forms is the required field logic, if they've missed any pertinent fields, they'll get a message that will let them know that you've missed fields and it gives them the, the ability to either fix those fields by adding data or to skip them. If you choose within anywhere to set it for a hard enforcement, which I think we, we call it in, in the, uh, uh, within the uh, administrative tab, we call it a strict enforcement, they cannot move on to a secondary action like printing, sending the forms for e-signature, sending the data to the back office, whatever the case is. So if you want to make sure that your advisors, of course, are not sending incomplete forms, you have the capability at your fingertips to be able to set a strict enforcement. Uh, something else that was also just recently added uh, is, is the uh, the fact that the uh, forms themselves, any forms, uh, fields on the forms that have been programmed as smart fields, uh, you'll see where the actual fields themselves are yellow, so it's really easy for the advisor to see uh, which fields are pertinent fields. It just makes things, uh, again, much, much easier, very, very clear for them to see what, uh, uh, what needs to be uh, completed. Now, with Anywhere as well, we also make it easy to create logins for all users. So within anywhere, within again, within the administrative uh, dashboard, <coughs> excuse me, there is the ability to, uh, we provide a, a CSV file with all of the proper headers, and those headers have things like uh, the permissions of, are, are you going to allow them to change their advisor data? Are you gonna allow them to change their firm data? Uh, are you gonna allow them to set, uh, uh, credentials for, for e-signature, lots of, diff uh, of, of different features. Once you, you enter the information for all users within the CSV file, once that's loaded, it will create the login invitations for all users. You can also do it one by one if you wish, if you're adding users later on, that, that can also be done, but it makes it very, very easy to create those logins for everyone in one fell swoop. Now with user groups, this was something else that was also created within, uh, within Laser App Anywhere. Uh, we created the ability to be able to set up what type of user is, uh, is going to be uh, set up within the system. And what this does is gives you the ability to set advisors, of course, or reps up as users, or to set up assistants as assistants. And what that, this basically means is that by being able to create these different user groups, if you have a, a situation where you have an advisor or an assistant helping an advisor or number of advisors, you can build those all those folks all within the same group. So paperwork can be completed by the assistant or even if you want to have the ability for advisors to complete paperwork for other advisors, that also can be done as well with it within the permissions. But you'll see that we have the, uh, uh, the roles that are created here, which you set. Once the, uh, within the user group section over here, you'll see that uh, once the group has been created, it literally is a very, very simple drag and drop to where uh, you can create those groups. You can, then, you can then name that user group, whatever you wish. And once the user group has been created, 
I know it's really tough to see from the back back here, but this is actually a list of different advisors down here at the bottom. If it's an assistant doing paperwork for an advisor, they literally can just choose what advisor they want to do, uh, do paperwork for at the time. And of course, that way that advisor's name will show up in any of those, uh, those necessary fields. All right, now this is, this is really kind of one of the most fun and, and, and one of the, uh, the sexiest features of, uh, of Laser App Anywhere are the uh, STP aliases, this, you know, for creating straight through processing um, uh, situations and, and, and helping create workflow. Um, the, uh, with Anywhere, we've made it really, really easy for business people, again, not developers, but for business people, to be able to apply a custom button to whatever forms that you wish within anywhere. So what will, what will happen is, is that if you have the, um, as long as we have the end destination URL for whatever you want that end destination to be. So keep in mind, if, if, if it's one of our e-signature partners, we already have those end destination URLs that are already pre-configured and set to go. You simply just need to, need to, uh, to choose it within, uh, uh, actually we'll set it for you within your version of anywhere. Uh, and it will set up um, uh, the, uh, the, the different parameters that are part of it. But if you need to um, uh, create your own, you've got the ability to actually name the actual configuration. So this one that we've actually called uh, back office data. You can then add whatever text that you want to the button. So it might say send for e-signature, send to back office, uh, send to document imaging, whatever you choose that can be typed in by a business person. You then have the ability to, again, to set, uh, you know, other, uh, this is also where the, uh, the, the smart form um, uh, permissions are being set. The uh, uh, print button can either be enabled or, dis or disabled, whatever you want. The posting format, you let us know. Do you want just raw XML data? You want XML with a PDF, with a fillable PDF, or with a TIFF? You can choose those different options within the dropdown. Again, we'll set, we'll go ahead and embed the, uh, that end destination URL. And once that's been created, that custom button shows up right here. So the, the button that, that, uh, that we named send to back office will show up on whatever forms that you wish. So there's no limit to the number of, of STP aliases that you can create. And keep in mind, folks, Rome doesn't have to be built in a day, right? So if, if maybe the, the, uh, the, the, the first goal is to set up laser app anywhere and use it with e-signature. Great, done deal, let's get it done. If the next, next goal might be, now we wanna be able to receive the, the, uh, the forms and data into our back office, so it doesn't have to be rekeyed. We can save all of those costs and save those resources. That can be done. Well, you let, let us know when you've got that uh, end destination URL, we'll embed it in your version of anywhere, you create the uh, straight through process uh, button and that will apply. So all these different things can be done whenever you are ready. Okay, now for web services, I'm going to bring up somebody much, much smarter and better looking than I am. Uh, I'm gonna bring up Tom Cordova Caddis from, uh, from our development team. And uh, Tom is gonna bring you up to speed on uh, a new feature that we added uh, fairly recently and, and how it might be applied and why it would, might be important to your business. Thank you, Chris. You are welcome, Tom. So web services is merely a way for a server to talk to another server. And this is merely giving the same functionality that you would use through some of the features that Chris has already shown, but being able to do it programmatically. So let me give you an example. There's, there's two uh, web services that we've released. And the first one is the user management service. So this is allowing your server to tell anywhere, I have a brand new user, or I need to edit information about the user, I need to change their group, all of those things that you can do manually, you know, one by one, click the user, change his role, change his group, or with the, the CSV bulk import, let's say, for example, that you have a system in place. When I onboard a new rep into my system, I have a database that tracks all their information, probably has their address right there, knows who they work with. If you already have that database, why are we asking you to come into anywhere and do some manual work additionally to get them set up in anywhere? So if you have a developer who knows that internal database, they can set up a programmatic call. It's just like you know, calling a function within their program. It's just now a function 
in our program that says, I want you to add this user, here's their name, here's their address, here's the group of people they work with, whether they're an advisor or an assistant, and it's just allowing you to set that up without having to have an administrator go in and do that extra step within Anywhere. The second piece is the forms management service, and this gives you programmatically a download of all the forms that you have access to. This is primarily used when you have an integrating party before Laser App, so if you're using a system that selects forms in addition to sending data, they need access to that list. They can't tell us what forms they want to launch unless they know what forms you have access to. For the forms management services, we allow you to set up to five because maybe you have multiple parties that you work with. And so you can share this with the different integrating parties that may be building a form selection UI in front of Laser App Anywhere, and you're giving them access to exactly the forms that you have access to. And they can download this um, you know, every night so they know exactly what forms. In addition to that, it also allows them to specify a particular user and get those personal form groups back so they know, hey, Tom at laserapp.com set up a form group. He's got the new account form and three other forms that he uses on a regular basis, and I don't have to wait until I get into Laser App Anywhere to be able to leverage that. I can actually select that in my front end system and then pass the data into Laser App Anywhere. And that's web services. Chris? Great. Thanks, Tom. I told you he could do that much better than I could. All right. Okay, now we get into visibility. So everything we kind of went through before, folks, was, was talking about controls. Now we're going to talk about visibility. With uh, the visibility that, that you also get, the benefits you get with Laser App Anywhere, which are some really, really wicked cool features here. We, we, we include a lot of great reports uh, within Anywhere. And the reports that, that are available to you, I'm only showing one of them here, but there are the form companies, so we'll actually show you what form companies you've chosen and the amount of usage for those form companies. Oh, pardon me, form categories is the first one. Second one is form company. So if you're wondering how much business are we be, uh, is being done with certain companies, we will actually show you a list of those companies and show you the amount of transactions being done with those companies. The uh, uh, report that we're showing right here is the operating systems and, and browsers. So what this does, this takes the guesswork out of what your advisors are actually doing, what, your, what uh, users and assistants are doing. And this pr pr uh, provides the information that shows the actual uh, browsers for Laser App Anywhere. Are they using Chrome? Are they using Firefox? Are they using Safari? Uh, are they using um, uh, IE10? Whatever, whatever the case might be. Uh, and the actual operating systems themselves. So are they, are they using an iPad? Are they using an Android system? Uh, said Windows, Mac, whatever the case might be. So you actually have visibility to those reports within Anywhere. The usage time, this is absolutely one of the most valuable uh, reports that's built in. This actually will list all of your users, and it will show you who's using the platform and who's not. So in, again, taking the guesswork out of who might need additional training, who might need some additional assistance, we show you. That, ca that, that visibility is right there at your fingertips, so it's, again, it's not a matter of trying to send an email out to everybody and ask them, you're going to see. And that way it will help you identify those folks uh, who need that, that ex extra assistance uh, and, of course, give you the, uh, the peace of mind in seeing the, uh, the folks uh, who are using the, the platform and not have to worry about them uh, 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 gaining any additional training since they're already on board and, and using, it, uh, using it well. The uh, last report are the, uh, the data sources. So if, especially in an independent model where, where your advisors might be using several different CRMs, you're going to know. Who's using Redtail? Who's using Advisor's Assistant? Who's using Grendel? Who's using Juncture? Uh, who's using Salesforce? Whatever the case is, you'll have visibility to all of those different things. Okay. Scalability. Now, just within the past year or so, we, we've actually increased the, uh, the number of, uh, of partners for uh, Laser App Anywhere uh, up to uh, over 30. Um, you can also easily add more users, of course, with, uh, with Anywhere and add uh, as many STP aliases as you wish. This will give you an idea of the, uh, the latest sheet that we have on, uh, on Laser App Anywhere as far as our, our integration partners are concerned, and this will continue to grow. Um, so we've been very, very happy with the growth, very happy with the, uh, the number of uh, firms who have built integrations with Anywhere, uh, whether it be CRM, custom CRM, e-signature, whatever the case might be, this will continue to grow as the... Uh, as time goes on. 
Okay. We're now at the uh, end of the presentation. Uh, for uh, I was one of the things I was going to try to do was show you how on your phone within the uh, within the uh, guidebook here uh, how to uh, re request a, a demo. What I re uh, ask that you do is that if, if you would like a demo for your firm for Laser App Anywhere, uh, let your Laser App account manager know. Let the front desk know if if you if you would like a uh, uh, a demo, and we will be glad to schedule one for you and the rest of your staff. Now let me see how we're doing here time-wise because I was just notified. I guess everybody's going to be. We're, it's been requested everybody migrate to the uh, uh, to the main room right at 11 o'clock, which is about three minutes from now. Uh, did we have any? I can't. Don't have time for a lot of questions. Did we have any questions at all? We got a few. Yes, Josh. That's something that's got to be rebuilt, correct, Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's, it, it has to be uh, set within anywhere. There's no way to, tr to, to uh, at this moment, Josh, to be able to transfer those groups that have already been uh, set in, in enterprise. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah yes. Go ahead. Well, one thing to keep in mind with, with Anywhere w w is that Anywhere does not, does not include a native database, right? Um, and and it, wasn't, it really wasn't designed to. It, it was made to launch from CRM systems and from, uh, uh, from account opening systems. But one of the things that we have done within Anywhere is that for advisors who don't have a CRM at all, they do have the ability to go in and, and clear the sample data and enter whatever data that they wish at that time. Th th that is manual, but there is other. That's a, it's a great suggestion. It's other that th those are suggestions we've heard before, and uh, uh, there are uh, other uh, options that we are going to be adding here a as we continue to uh, to grow and evolve. Brittany, do you have a question? This will be the last question, folks. So we can get everybody to the main room. Great, great suggestion. And, and again, folks, whatever suggestions that, that you have, that's, that's how we continue to evolve and expand the product, and uh, your feedback is important. So let us know. Thanks, everybody, for being here.